name is Sandro, I am a Swiss YouTuber and I'm creating a complete travel guide to my home country. With this weekly vlog series, you can join me on the journey of making this movie, so don't forget to subscribe. It's great to have you on board. Hey guys and welcome to the second vlog of the making of of my complete Switzerland travel guide video. My plan is to film an entire travel guide about my home country Switzerland and with those vlogs I would like to take you through the whole process and today is about making the interlude of the movie. I have decided to make this in form of an animation. Wish me luck because I am new to this and maybe we can learn something together. So let's dive right into it. But before we start, just let me get a light because it's about to get dark soon. Welcome to my basement. There's somewhere up here. <laughs> Boom! So here we are. Actually, I tricked you guys a little bit because now it's like uh, a few days later. I wasn't really happy with the footage from this day. But the good news is by now the whole interlude is already done and I can take you step by step through the whole process so you can maybe get some inspiration for your own project. The first step was an audio recording. I needed like a guide track of my off voice to get this catchy intro. I think I started with something like what comes to your mind if you think about Switzerland? Then I recorded this whole audio track. So I had a guideline for the whole animation and I just had to add the pictures to the audio track. So I could start, I opened up Illustrator and I started drawing. I needed like a chocolate bar, a Swiss army knife, a watch. And once all the illustrations were done, I took them into After Effects. And in After Effects, you have this timeline. I could import the audio guide track that I have recorded and then I just just started putting those illustrations over this audio guide. If you build up your Illustrator project with different layers, then you can control all the objects separately that you have in one picture. So in After Effects, I can import an Adobe Illustrator file and then rotate the single blade with so-called keyframes. That means I define a starting point and the ending point of this separate component of the knife. Then it will just move over a certain time from the starting position to the end position and then it looks like a motion picture. I hope you can follow this description, but it, it makes sense. <laughs> For the final touches, I took it into Premiere Pro and then I added audio, which is such an important element. If you add sound effects like whooshes, it really comes to life. So yeah, this is the whole process to this interlude and I think by now I can just give you a little sneak peek of how it looks like. What comes to your mind if you think about Switzerland? Are you confused because you always thought that it's the same thing as Sweden? Well, it's not. There might be some pictures in your head about this mountain printed on a chocolate box that you can buy at every airport. Maybe you think about a fancy knife or some expensive watches and sure, there's the Swiss cheese, but believe me, there's way more. So yeah, that's it for this vlog today. If you have any questions about anything that I just showed you, then you can just write me a comment. I'm very happy to answer them. I think by now I'm one step closer to the complete Switzerland travel guide, and I can't wait to actually take my camera and go out and start shooting some footage out there and not just here on the desk. So stay tuned for the next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for joining this journey. I hope you were entertained, I hope you could learn something and I'm very happy to see you soon again. Goodbye.